Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. Woohoo! All right, today we're going to be making the underwater trap boat. Um, so I've got a lot of the materials already made, uh, so we can get it. We also going to give you guys a quick little uh, show of some of the boats we have. Give you some tips and tricks on boat tips and tricks on boats in general. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, um, and let's get as far as we can. So we've got a lot of materials built. First thing you have to do to protect the trap boat is drop the foundations down low enough to where you can see them. Uh, or not see them, but they go underneath the boat to protect the bottom of the boat. You don't have to do this. Um, I like doing it because it protects the bottom of the boat when you choose to. Um, so let's go ahead and get this done really fast. Um, so we'll jump off here. Um, first thing I do is pull out that pillar. You see how it drops it right in there. So you jump in the driver's seat of the boat, you take that pillar, you place it down, and you hit the right trigger button, and bam! Look at that. Centered, perfect, looking fantastic. That's the best thing you can do. Um, so then you go ahead, you snap your little found your, your first stash full right there. You tear up the pillar, and then you take it, and you slap a new pillar right down here. And then we're going to go ahead and drop this foundation just a little bit. You want to do it to the left and right, actually, um, not the back, because it, it's a little bit harder to drop it back there. I don't know why. just is. Um, that's what we're talking about on the boat specifically. You can also do this on land if you want a lower foundation on land, um, if you don't want to be as tall as it is. Um, so just a little fun fact for you there. Um, so then what you do is you rip out the next wood pillar, you take out the next fat floor, and then we place another pillar right in the middle of this one. Um, and it's the pillar that's causing these things to come off center. If you ever think about the fact that if you place a pillar after you've placed the ceiling, it always sticks it through the top of the ceiling. It's because pillars are technically a different height. Um, and that's why we're able to get the separate snap point um, with the thatch foundation or thatch floor a little bit lower. So we're going to drop another one down in here, do do do, just like this, rip out the pillar. Um, and we're just going to repeat the process until we've got the whole thing done. Um, so then we throw another pillar in here. And this should be the end of it right there. There it is. Um, so when it looks exactly like that, where it's just partially sticking through, um, it's exactly when you want to go ahead and call it quits because that means it's reaching underneath um, to where you can barely see the thatch foundation. Just like that. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? All right. So now that we've got that done, um, let's go ahead and show you guys. So basically what you can do now um, is you need to extend uh, you need to place your first one. Since we're making a trap boat, um, we only need one foundation in the middle. We're going to place ceilings around it then um, and drop it down. However, I want to show you guys how to extend it beyond the perimeter. Um, so first thing we're going to do um, is we are going to uh, rip up that foundation. Um, I need to replace it with a stone foundation. There we go. Got it right there. Um, so what I can do is you see how it snaps in there. Just drop it in there. It should replace it. Bam, like that. Okay, perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do and I'm going to quickly destroy this floor. So that's going to be the center of our trap boat no matter what. However, as I said, I wanted to show you guys one extra thing. So technically, you can place this 3x3 three three on a boat no matter what. However, I don't want it to be 3x3. Three three. I want it to be 4x4, by, 5x5, four by four, five by five, or however big you wanted it. So here's the big trick. You take a thatch roof, right? Oh, I grabbed a slope roof. Oh, special moments for me. Let's make a quick thatch roof. Uh, I've totally forgot. I thought I got a grabbed normal roof, but I guess I didn't. So we'll go ahead and fix that real quick. I should have read that. I mean, come on. Come on, lemur. What were you thinking? So grab that thatch roof, throw it in our inventory real fast. There we go. Uh, into our quick slots. So we'll put it down here. All right, so you take the thatch roof, you place it onto where you want to extend the foundation. And then you place the foundation doo -doo -doo, right there. And then you can jump back on your boat. Let's jump out the old fashioned way. And then you can rip up the thatch roof. And voila, you have extended your boat to a larger foundation. So, but as I said for the trap boat, we only need a small little foundation. So, um, we only need the one because we're going to be dropping this down after we get those ceilings down. So let's rip up those quick foundations real fast. Um, and then we will drop all this stuff in this inventory because we don't need it right now. Um, we will take all these pillars. We're done with these. Done with these. Done with these. And let's grab all of our stuff that we need. So. We need to grab the ceilings, we need stone frames, we need the that, we need that, we need this, we need this, and we need these. I always make a little bit of extra stuff. Um, so basically what you need to do is you need to make this thing out a little bit. So we're going to pull this out now into the water, um, now that we've dropped it by our other boats, um, just so you guys can kind of, because you have to go underwater to make this thing. Um, so we'll jump off. Um, this is not quite far enough out, because um, remember you have to go down, we're going to have to go down four deep because we're going to do a dino gate, um, because dino gates are the only thing that fit for megalodons and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and get these stone walls. Um, so what you need is basically you need 10 stone walls, 30, these are the minimums, 10 stone walls, 30 door frames, um, 17 ceilings, 
and two stone fence foundations, one normal foundation, a stone gateway, a wooden ramp, and a stone door. Um, basically what it is, is we're gonna make this foundation. Um, we're gonna take these ceilings and we're gonna place them all the way around, um, just like this, just to surround that one foundation that we were talking about, which is the center of your boat, basically. Um, however, it's not gonna die because it really shouldn't be, if it's, you shouldn't be attacking with it, so you shouldn't have to worry about structural integrity in a PVP server. Um, now, to protect our boat, um, because that's the key is you want to still protect the boat somewhat. Um, I take I took regular walls at first and we're going to drop them down underneath here just like this. Um, but remember we're going to leave a gap of two. The um, reason we're going to leave a gap of two is because we are going to be placing that uh, that dinosaur gate in there. And once we place that dinosaur gate in there, it'll cover up those last two slots for us. Um, so we're only going to place ten around. Um, as I said, I always make extra just in case I miss slip, especially when I'm swimming in the water. Um, I, their mistakes tend to get made. Um, so let's go ahead and get these walls on here real fast. Because um, you can misplace them. So, as I said, we're leaving that gap too. This is where a dinosaur gate's going to go. Now that we've got this done, we are going to drop three more down because a dinosaur gate is a two by four section that you need to frame out. So we're going to drop all these door frames down um, and you're going to drop them down three more. The um, reason I use door frames is nothing can get out of door frames, but you can. Um, so like if you want to try to do a icky tame, if you want to try to do a manta ray tame, or anything of that nature, they can't fly out between door frames, but you can. So you can trick the system a little bit. Um, and when you chase this thing into the middle, um, bring it into your door frame, or door frame, um, you can, or uh, your door, dinosaur gate, you can run out the back and pick any door that you want to or any line of doors um, plus when you're shooting it and tranking in or trying to feed it you've got multiple avenues of approach to try to feed this little guy um, and tame it so we will definitely do some tames for you in the boat um, we're going to do a megalodon um, almost immediately after this video in the next episode um, so let's go ahead so now here's the catch you have to put ceilings at the bottom of this whole level right here but if you look at it ceilings only place at the top because they're a ceiling so what you do is to trick the system, you place one extra little doorway at the bottom, right? Then you place your little ceiling right here. Once you've placed that ceiling, what you can do is, because I said we're tricking the system, you can rip out that door and bam, the ceiling stays, and then I can add the rest of the ceilings down at the bottom. Little trick, um, these are little tricks, especially in the underwater one, um, that are really helpful. Um, even if you want to make a normal boat, sometimes people make underwater stuff underneath. Um, but just like um, with the Quetzal trap and everything, um, you cannot have dinos down there while you're moving, um, otherwise it will not work. Um, it's only when it's stationary doesn't work. And I totally forgot to put the, <laughs> that's kind of funny, totally forgot to place our doors on the side. So we've got our doors in, everything's looking good, we've got our ceilings in. Now we have to place our little stone fence foundations to get here. So we might actually get that Megalodon to come after us here in a minute. Um, and show you guys how this works before this video is even over. Um, and then on the next video, we'll go ahead and show you how to tame that little Megalodon really easy. So we place those two fence foundations down right there on the edge. What that does is allows me to have a snap point to place my dinosaur gate. So let's go ahead and jump up there. Um, also, I, the reason I have the wooden ramp on me is because when you ever you sink a foundation on a boat um, you can no longer jump on top of the boat obviously in this one I can swim underneath and go grab the, the drive but if I had this whole thing as foundation you'll see I can't have it and we'll show you on the other boats what I mean um, so what you do is you say as I said the snap points look at that it just snaps right in there for us perfectly placed every single time we'll place the doors in there and look at this now we can swim it in and out in and out in and out and that's the trap boat that's really it um, it's that simple and now I can trap stuff in there. Um, let's go ahead and do a quick demo of the trap boat itself. As I said, that's why I put the ramp on there. So now I can get up and down really nice and easy. Um, and we can jump on the boat. Let's get over by that Megalodon. Let's see if we can get him to chase us. Um, I don't have any scuba gear, but it's really not going to be that bad. It's just a little Megalodon. Um, that should be close enough, I'm hoping. I, I don't know exactly where it was. I didn't see it in the water. I'll probably jump in. I'll be right behind us. Watch that. So what we'll do is we'll go find this baby. There it is. Hi, Mr. Megalodon. Hello. All right, so we get him to chase us. We'll go in the back of this, right? As I said, when Robbie talked about this. You run in, you run out those little doors. Oh, Mr. Megalodon, you're being difficult. Come back. You're supposed to go in the gate, you little. Oh, our auto turrets killed him. Sad moment. 
All right, well, basically, that's the trick right there. You get them to chase you. They go into the gate, not kind of right here, and then run around and get shot by your, your auto turrets. I forgot I had an auto turrets right there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and head back. As I said, you can kind of cheat the system in this one. We'll look at the front of the boat and get in there. So let's head back over. Um, it works fantastically. We'll get a couple episodes here uh, showing you guys how to tame Mugadons and itchies and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and take a look at our other boats that we have out here. Uh, we've got the USS Madagascar, the Black Pearl, the Bubba Gump, and the Griller Express. These are just boats that we've come up with. Um, the limit on boats is 88, so you go as crazy as you want. If you guys want to put like a uh, ceiling on there and roof and like put other things on your little um, underwater taming boat, um, go right ahead. So I made mine more compact. Um, we'll show you the Black Pearl afterwards. Um, this is mine, the, the USS Madagascar. Um, it's really compact because I want to get more guns on it. I'm still putting guns on it, still putting seas on it, stuff like that. But you can see I got my fabricator, I got my smithy, I've got my fridge, I've got a chemistry bench, I got one large storage box, I've got my generator. I've got it on an angle because um, it's only a three by three because I get this box right in the middle um, and it gets every single point around this boat so I don't have to worry about having multiple pieces because even those wires count as a piece towards that 88. Now my storage boxes, I got an air conditioner, I got a bed, I got two forages. The reason I have the air conditioner in here is when I go up north it lets me stay alive in the cold. I've got even a remote um, to turn my guns on and off, uh, to turn my lights on because um, I do have headlights on it. Of course you have to have headlights. Um, and I got all my turrets on here. Um, this is normally our cave splunking boat if we do a cave by the water um, or raids or anything so we have extra beds on here for now um, obviously those will go away once we get to the boats but here's the big thing to beat the 88 structure limit um, if you do, cannot which on xbox you cannot uh, turn up the number of limits on a boat uh, what you can do is these plant species um, the mature plant species is considered one extra piece however if you go to the 88 limit and you put your extra um, crop plots down um, and then place the plants afterwards, um, you guys can go ahead and place them and break that limit so then you can be over that 88 limit. Um, let's go check out the Black Pearl real quick, um, give you guys a little bit different views. This is a three by five boat, um, so it's three wide, five long. Um, this was made by Walt. Um, it's a much longer boat, as I said. Um, he's got a lot more stuff in your fridges. It's much more spread out. So if this is more of a uh, working boat, um, things of that nature, mine works too. Um, it looks a little bit cooler, um, and it just gives you kind of the, the option to do what you want. He's got two smithies in here. The reason he uses smithies is they actually have 70 storage, if you think about it, versus a normal box that's only got 15 or 45. So it gives you a little bit of extra room um, to go ahead and do that. And he's got platforms on the back for guns on the back. Um, and then we've got the Bubba Gump uh, <laughs> fishing boat. Um, that's all this is, is just a little fishing boat. Um, this was made by Cricket. Um, you can jump up there, you can jump on top and put all your boats in and everything. Um, and then we've got the Griller Express over here. Um, and this is for grilling all of our meat that we have and everything of that nature in our preserving bins. Um, so that's going to do it. Those are the ideas we have. If you guys want to see us uh, how to build them, um, more boat stuff, let me know. Um, we'll go ahead and get it done as the sun goes down here. Um, that's going to do it on this episode of Lemur's Corner. Um, we will see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day.